Hey, what's up? Uh, my name is Bobby Ridge, and this is a life extension vlog, daily infinite vlog. Uh, I'm a life extensionist, and let's talk a little bit about human level artificial general intelligence. Um, so, Peter Voss, the founder of uh, AIGo.ai, um, posted an article from um, on Facebook uh, of a paper published in journal uh, or in, in the um, journal Nature. Um, this journal or this article was published, sorry, it's like five in the morning right now. <laughs> um, this, uh, article published, um, in June of this year, 2020, um, was titled or is titled, where is the freaking title at? Uh, I'll put the link in the description to the paper, but it's titled why general artificial intelligence will not be realized. <laughs> Um, written by Regnar Feyland. Um, sorry if I didn't pronounce your name correctly. And so, um, this is a very odd article. I highly recommend everybody support Peter Voss. Um, he's at the leading edge of developing human-level artificial general intelligence. Um, if anyone's going to do it, Peter Voss is going to do it. Um, he's really great. I highly uh, recommend everybody go to his website and uh, support him. And uh, I think, I'm pretty sure you could use his... Um, um, uh, they, they have some sort of like cognitive architecture AI that you could use. <laughs> um, so I highly recommend everyone check that out. Um, so everybody knows what the journal Nature is. It's one of the most it's pretty much the most prestigious scientific journal um, out there. And uh, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about this article. So let's first define what AI is. Um, you know, I don't have like the best definitions of AI, but some some common um, terms that are used uh, in the world of AI <laughs> is uh, artificial narrow intelligence, general intelligence, and super intelligence. Um, you know, you can think of narrow intelligence as um, you know an AI that can only do like one task, right? It can only like clean the dishes, or it can only it can only play chess, or it can only do like one thing, right? And like humans, we have general intelligence, right? And we're trying to work on developing AI, or some researchers are try trying to develop developing AI that have general intelligence, um, you know, sort of like humans. Humans, we can do the dishes and play chess and drive a car and do, you know, a bunch of different things, right? And then super intelligence is often used for um, being able to supersede human intelligence, um, you know, far past our capabilities, right? And then, you know, you often hear human level artificial general intelligence, right? Because you can have lower, you can have general intelligence that's lower than human abilities. And then you can have general intelligence a little bit higher, but then that starts to get into like the super intelligent realm. Uh, he attempted to define these terms and he did a really poor job at doing it. Um, right now there's a lot of excitement over deep learning and uh, the use of big data. And I think um, uh, makes it more convincing that human level general intelligence will be achieved um, uh, pro uh, likely in the near future too. Um, and, but for some reason he thinks the opposite. So, I mean, you know, AI is pretty much just technology um, that is tr trying to be, um, it's it's our attempt to build intelligence through technology, right? Um, uh, particularly based on computer technology. And I personally think intelligence is pretty much everything. Dude, I, I have like barely any time left. God damn. Um, okay, whatever. So... So the whole article is really unorganized. It really seems something like it should have been written maybe for like some sort of magazine or a blog or something. Um, it makes it really doesn't make much sense that it was published in Nature. It's really odd to be honest. Um, I highly recommend everybody read it because it's like, uh, and it'd be cool if you, I got your your opinion in the comment section. Um, he bases a lot of the article off of Hubert Dreyfus's arguments, and so Hubert Dreyfus he's a philosopher and he's not even an AI researcher. And so, so, so he, initially you already know this paper is not going to be, um, is, you know, just a little bit of a waste of time. Uh, for example, he says, however, after Hubert Dreyfus published What Computers Can't Do, AI, uh, AI has been, has made tremendous progress. So he, he pretty much insinuates that, you know, uh, AI made a lot of progress after Hubert Dreyfus published this paper, which, um, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I don't think any engineer in AI would agree with that, but... <laughs> Um, he mentions three milestones that have received public attention and contributed to the impression that AGI is just around the corner. Um, just because there's a lot of hype in the past about AGI doesn't mean that um, 
we're going to continue to uh, not, uh, that doesn't mean we're going to reach AGI, right? It just means that AI researchers made a mistake back then. And, and yeah, they, they, uh, they need to be more objective and uh, be more quantitative with their predictions, right? And they weren't. And so that's what happens when you're a scientist and you're not quantitative and you're not objective with your predictions, then you make mis then mistakes can happen. And then now nobody believes it's going to, you're going to develop what you're saying you want to develop. So that's really sad. But you know, does he say that in the article? No, he doesn't say it anywhere. Um, so I read the article. I completely agree with Peter Voss, um, and what he wrote on Facebook. Um, I mean, the article, the article is really just poorly written in the first place. Um, it felt kind of like a waste of time to read it all. Um, you know, it really feels like I'm responding to a blog post right now. But like, it, it, that's what it really feels like. Um, you know, majority of the arguments are based on philosophers, and so it's not. Even, so he doesn't. He barely even brings up any AI researchers, uh, engineers, uh, which is really odd, and just goes to show like that. You know, it's just. <laughs> A little bit of voice this time. <laughs> um, there are a bunch of insinuations that are um, not not that, that aren't you know he didn't really think through very well. Um, you know, insinuating like human consciousness is the pinnacle of um, of you know of consciousness and intelligence. Um, you know, silly things like that. Um, so he provides absolutely no evidence for his claims. Uh, way too confident in his claims. Uh, you know, I think he, he would, he really needs to learn how to be more uncertain. Um, so he said he pursued a line of arguments that were originally, originally presented by the philosopher. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. Why did I write that twice? So yeah, he insinuates, um, okay, so, so he brings up Hubert Dreyfus, right? And then he says something about how how computers can never have causal knowledge um, and only humans can have causal knowledge um, in that computers can never intervene in the world. He, he really likes this right here. Computers can never intervene in the world and they are not embodied, right? And so that's why they can never reach AGI, which is really silly to say, really, really, really silly. And then finally, he says, I will argue that the belief that AGI can be realized is harmful. If the power of technology is overestimated and the human skills are underestimated, the result will in many cases be that we replace something that works well with something that is inferior. <laughs> so he's pretty much saying that we will be so hyped over future artificial neurointelligence that we will be and so deluded, we will all be so deluded and so hyped that we will, we will use it, neurointelligence in an area that needs to be general intelligence but we're just so hyped and stuff that we're just like, fuck it, let's just use it. And then, and then it causes, you know, destruction and whatever it causes, you know, unhappiness. <laughs> just like, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about, bro? Okay. Um, he brings up something about mini Turing tests, uh, to support, you know, this claim that computers can't have causal realities. Um, okay. So, so let me, let me respond real quick before life just vlogs over about, Computers not being able to be inter intervene in the world, um, and computers not being uh, being embodied. Okay, f that's just plain false, dude. Do you know how much AI intervenes in the world already? So much, man. Like AI is already intervening in the world a lot, and I think this is very obvious. Okay, uh, <laughs> I think this is extremely obvious. Uh, I think this is well known. A lot of money is placed in AI, and um, there's a lot of people using AI to intervene in the world. Um, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> so that's just plain false. And he's very passionate about that, but I mean, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you, man. And then they're not embodied. I mean, they do have, you know, there's a thing called hardware, right? Um, so there is a level of embodiment, but they don't have, you know, humanoid bodies yet, right? We haven't put... Um, first off, we haven't let we haven't developed human level general cognitive intelligence yet, and we haven't developed humanoid robotic bodies yet. Um, but I mean, we're pretty close, to be honest. Um, well, with the the cognitive intelligence, as Peter Voss says, it's like around ten years away. But I mean, if you look at robotics uh, in humanoid robots, uh, I mean, we're pretty close, man. 
like like take a look at the uh, DARPA, um, the DARPA challenge in robotics. You know, um, you know what was it like five years ago? There's like there's two of them, right? And like over like a year's amount of time, you see this level of development in robotics, especially humanoid robotics. And uh, you, you see this fantastic level of innovations in such a small amount of time. It was really beautiful. And it made it, I think, very obvious. It, it made it very easy to imagine human level or humanoid robotics uh, or humanoid mobility in robotics being achieved very soon. I mean, dude, look at Boston Dynamics. Those robots are freaking doing backflips and like, running and stuff. So I think it's very easy to imagine now like that this, this all will be reached very soon, right? And, you know, a place, obviously you need human cognition to do our level of mobility. And um, so, but, you know, the, the arguments of intervening and the embodiment are just kind of silly. I mean, we're going to have AI like everywhere soon. And I, I'm, I mean, I've literally heard, you, you can go online and listen to like top AI researchers, you know, see the CEO of Google and, and, uh, you know, like literally the top AI researchers, right? They, they've done talks on this. Um, so, um, so it's not just, you know, CEOs of these large AI companies, but you know, the main, re the leading experts also, they have literally have said that human level AGI will be achieved and it will actually, we, they will supersede us and actually like just take over, like take all of our jobs and everything. Uh, this is, you can f easily find this information. This is not difficult to, to find. Okay. Uh, so so clearly this, this guy, this researcher who wrote this article did not do his research. Um, you know, it's a little embarrassing. Um, uh, a lot of people are really convinced that AI can never reach. Uh, a lot of lay people and, and a lot of experts, even in, in AI research, um, I, I'm pretty sure do believe that um, human level intelligence can't be achieved. But a lot of them don't believe that also. Um, here's the thing, people. Uh, AI will achieve human level general intelligence, and, and it'll actually like surpass us um, very quickly, and uh, you know become super intelligent and be able to do much more than we can do. And our intelligence will look like a freaking ant compared to them. So you know, it's it's really silly to make these arguments. I mean, I don't know why people are still trying to make these arguments. It's it's, uh, it's really odd. You know, maybe there's an agenda or something. Who knows? But I have a feeling this guy's good. Um, there's evidence that human level AGI will be achieved by the two, uh, around the year 2029. Um, this is based on the law of accelerating returns. Um, bah, 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 bah. Um, I think at the end of the day, this this uh, this guy doesn't understand science and engineering very well, and completely underestimates it. Uh, under completely underestimates innovation. Um, he, he provided no sense of uncertainty um, in his claims, which is very odd. And majority of his claims about AGI not being realized are easily dismissible, like very um, easy to dismiss. Like, dude, AI not intervening in the world? Like, what are you talking about? They intervene all the time already, and soon they will be, they will literally be more plentiful than like anything else. It'll be like just a complete fundamental to our society it'll be more available than even electricity you know how electricity is like like a, a a total fundamental in our society now it'll be even more of a fundamental than electricity ai will be um and i actually in fact I actually want to say I, I find this paper um even inappropriate and i think nature made a a mistake publishing it but all right, um, thanks a lot for listening, and uh, I, I think I'm gonna try to uh, interview this guy. Hopefully, I can get Peter Voss on the on the um, on the talk and have them kind of debate each other. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so much fun. All right, uh, I'll see you later. I look forward to living with you forever.